when's the comedy on? <laughs> when's the comedy on? Really? What's your name, sir? What's your name? David. David. Yeah. What's your favourite colour, David? Blue. Blue, okay. <laughs> Seems like the fairest way to deal with you, David. There are so many things I could say. <laughs> Number between one and eight, David. Six. Six. Okay, and you said to me, when's the comedy on? <laughs> It says, if you want my comeback, you'll have to scrape it off your mum's teeth. <laughs> These things don't lie, David. These things don't lie. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. She swallowed the lot. I'd like to end this evening by talking about heckling. I like a bit of heckling. It's great fun when people have come to see your show and they feel they can join it. It's like everyone's friends. It's great. But when you start out in this business, oh, my God, it can be cruel. I've got a friend that was doing a support act. And obviously, if you're doing a support act, people haven't paid to see you. They're paid to see someone else, and you're sort of getting in their way. <laughs> this friend of mine, he's a very funny boy. He was supporting a very famous comedian in Oxford. And someone from the back of the room, as he was halfway through his act, and he was struggling. Fair enough. But he didn't need this. Halfway through his act, someone shouted, you're ruining our evening. <laughs> Fucking hell. I, it happens to me all the time. It happened a couple of weeks ago. A guy sitting where you're sitting there, sir, front and centre, his phone went off. Now, everyone's got a mobile phone. Someone's going to leave it on by mistake. It's not the end of the world. Just switch it off. Not a problem. He took the call. <laughs> so there's me and 2,000 people going, what the fuck is this guy on? <laughs> he totally confidently, he went, I'm at a comedy show. And then there was a pause and he went, not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I'll leave you with this. It has been a pleasure talking to you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll leave you with this. This is the harshest heckle I've ever had to deal with. I was doing a gig in uh, Edinburgh at Late and Live. It doesn't start till one o'clock in the morning, so they're all out of their minds on heroin and shortbread. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so it's a late-night gig, everyone's drunk and high and out of their minds, and, and it's all going quite well. I'm about ten minutes into the gig, and, you know, doing my usual thing. It's about eight years ago, I was pretty new to this game. And this guy from the side shouts very clearly, loudly, confidently, just as I'm halfway through a joke, my mum died of cancer! <laughs> I thought, shit, the bed, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought, well, I'll deal with this logically and in order. I, I, I said, well, firstly, I wasn't talking about mums, and secondly, I wasn't talking about cancer. <laughs> And he came back with the epically harsh, no, but it was funnier than this. <laughs> oh, what was that? That sounded good. Go on, what was that? <laughs> what was it? A I'm a paedophile. <laughs> I was just fucking chatting to him. I've done nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Any others? Yeah. Yes. Dad? <laughs> well, I thought I'd kick off with some jokes, Glasgow, not fuck about too much. I'll pause for breath and say hello. How are you this evening, Glasgow? Are you well? <laughs> like an angry mob. Bloody, well, I thought we'd kick off properly. We're in a beautiful room, the Armadillo in Glasgow. Bloody marvellous. I thought we'd, we'd start things properly, yeah? Because everyone's dressed up. It's a Saturday night. Let's start things properly. Let's have a round of applause for the ladies. Let's have a round of yeah, let's have a round of applause for Yeah, yeah, quite right, yeah. That's, actually, that's, that's probably enough. Looking round, some of them have made no effort. <laughs> You've not made an effort, have you? <laughs> and so your comment there is, I haven't made much of an effort. Well, there's some cameras and some fucking lights. I don't know what you had in mind. <laughs> it's not like I could come to your work and knock the sailor's cocks out your mouth, is it? <laughs> Seems like a very weird thing from a quite a tough-looking man from Glasgow to say, Oh, you've not made much of an effort. 
I thought you'd be dressed up prettier. <laughs> it's a little bit prison rape coming from you, sir. That's what it feels like. <laughs> what, sorry? Posh prick. <laughs> Posh prick seems a bit harsh. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your name, sir? Miles. <laughs> Miles. <laughs> and you think I might be a bit posh? <laughs> All right, Miles. What's your favourite colour? Blue. Seems like the fairest way to deal with this. <laughs> Here's some B L U E. <laughs> Number between one and eight, Miles. Four. Four. All right. Ooh. It says if you've come as a cunt, you've won. <laughs> bit of good news. <laughs> what is the worst gift you've ever got? Birthday, anniversary, Christmas, Valentine's. What is the worst piece of shit you ever got? <laughs> <clears throat> We've had a heckle. Go on, what, what was that, sir? A little bit louder. <laughs> no, that was fine. Uh, sir, what, what's your name? What? What, sorry? Toby, Toby, do you mind me sharing with the group? Thank you very much indeed, Toby. That makes it much easier. Because there's a heckle. It's quite a good heckle, quite a funny heckle. But we have to do a heckle put down now. God. <laughs> I would love if I could just let it go, but I can't. <laughs> there are rules. <laughs> but you don't mind me sharing with the group, so it makes it much easier. We can go old school. Stop what, sorry? Stop stalling. Stop stalling. <laughs> don't panic, sir. I've got this, I'll have to put you on asshole waiting. <laughs> Toby's mum <laughs> is so fat. She's a fucking disgrace, Toby. Your mum is such a chunky monkey wobble slob. <laughs> Fatty boom batty blubber naught. She's so fucking fat, when she fell down the stairs, I thought EastEnders had finished. <laughs> boom, 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 ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> True story. Ahem. <laughs> 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 you, sir. <laughs> what did you say? What was it? Stop stalling? <laughs> yeah? What, what's your name? Gary. Are you trying to say Gary? <laughs> Watch me. Gary. <laughs> yeah. 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 The fuck is that? <laughs> well, Gary, if you want my comeback, you'll have to scrape it off your mum's teeth. <laughs> uh -huh. What, sorry? I've got, I've got a big nose. <laughs> I literally don't have a big nose. <laughs> That's a weird hat. That's like an insult you've heard someone else use. And you've gone, I got a big fucking laugh. That's going to work best with a comic with a big nose. What's your name, sir? Thomas. What do you do, Thomas? You're a student. What are you studying? Uh, mathematics. Mathematics? <laughs> are you at school, Thomas? <laughs> I don't know if we should continue this any further because it's starting to feel like grooming. <laughs> Are you at school? Yeah, I'm at school. <laughs> you got a big nose. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Any other heckles? <laughs> oh, what was that? That sounded good. Go on, what was that? <laughs> what was it? Pedophile. I'm a paedophile. <laughs> I was just fucking chatting to him. I've done nothing. <laughs> <laughs> My crisps tasted rubbish. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> I became Latino there for a second. <laughs> no, you didn't. 
<laughs> yeah, I did. I had crisps. Did you see? I had crisps. Jimmy Con Carney crisps. The good people are walkers for comic relief. They brought out a flavour of my crisps, and it was me and Al Murray and Frank Skinner and Stephen Fry. And then they made these crisps, and every packet they sold, they gave five pence to the starving people in Africa. And I said to them, why don't you just send them the fucking crisps? <laughs> got to make more sense, hasn't it? Because they can't be as fussy about the flavours. <laughs> if you're starving, you're fine, aren't you? Well, these are a bit... Nah, fair enough. <laughs> I love swearing. I've always quite... Oh, you all right? Sorry, what was that? I missed a bit of chat. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's not the telly. If you talk, I can hear. Now you're looking pissed off. You're thinking, I didn't press the red button, it's gone all interactive. What, <laughs> what, what were you saying? <laughs> Go on, say. I thought you were talking about snake bite the drink. You thought. You, <laughs> you just said, I thought you were talking about snake bite the drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what happened was. <laughs> Okay, in a joke, a joke is like two stories, yeah? <laughs> and the first story makes you make an assumption about something. So the assumption people made about snake bite in, in that joke was that it was a snake biting you. But, but he, mm. <laughs> that's the setup of the joke. So you made the assumption he's talking about a snake bite, a snake biting someone. In the second part of the joke, often known as the punchline, <laughs> what you'll what you'll find is that rug will be, will be whipped from under you and you'll realise that the assumption you made was erroneous. <laughs> Suddenly revealing a fact that was previously concealed is, is the nature of all one-liners, madam. So, in essence, I was talking about both snake bites, the thing that happens when a snake bites you, <laughs> and also the drink. <laughs> no problem at all, it's lovely to help. Actually, it's nice to have you here this evening, because I think one of the charity gigs I did helped pay for the minibus that brought you here. <laughs> so... <laughs> nice to see that money wasn't wasted. <laughs> oh, bless her little heart. Uh, what are you making of the rest of the show? Are you just enjoying the spangly things? <laughs> the fuck has a side part in? <laughs> You're going to kick yourself when I tell you. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr, and I'm announcing a new tour. It's called Jimmy Carr Laughs Funny. And if you like me, it's the kind of thing you like. And if you don't like me, then uh, why are you watching this?